Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 42, Dust, by Hugh Howey. I really enjoyed this novel. It was an awesome conclusion to all of the fantastic storytelling and great characters Hugh Howey has given us with Wool and Shift. It was all over far earlier than I would have liked it to be. But then I was dreading finishing this book even as I started the first chapter. It probably went by so fast, because I was enjoying it so much. I didn't want the Silo Saga to end, because I have had such a great experience surviving with its characters for some time now. Wool is still my favorite, but I enjoyed reading Dust much more than Shift. While Shift did a great job of revealing to me how this crazy world came into being, Dust returned to having more dramatic and exciting things happen in the story, like Wool. So just as an aside to you guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Hugh Howey is an amazing author who wrote this fantastic book called Wool. If you haven't read it, it's one of the highest recommendations I give for anyone that's asking, what should I read next? Wool happened, and then Shift was prequel stories to Wool, and then Dust happens after Wool and concludes the whole series. All right, now let's get back to that review. There were a lot of scenes that were very gripping and kept me glued to my iPod to hear each and every new word. That's funny, I used to listen to all my audiobooks on my iPod Touch. Now I just listen to all of it on my iPhone. But I had a Blackberry back then. Anyway, I won't give anything away, but I will say, when I read the ending, I was so happy to be with those characters in that historical moment for them and for their world. It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows for every character, though, and I really enjoyed seeing characters I have come to love go through more intense and trying situations. I felt that Hugh did a good job of ending his series and keeping a good balance with all the characters and silos in the story. By the time you're reading this book, there are many characters and silos Hugh had to juggle to finish out his awesome saga. I didn't feel like that, though. Yes, there was a lot of switching between silos and characters, but every time the viewpoint character or setting switched... I was just instantly right with them, or right there, that it never felt like a big back and forth. It just felt like one cohesive and awesome story. I highly recommend this book. I loved it. Oh man, that's awesome. I really did love that book. What's really funny is... My co-workers are now listening to the audiobook of Wool, the first one, and one of them just finished it, and now they're listening to Shift, and then pretty soon they'll li be listening to this, Dust, the final book in the Silo series by Hugh Howey. And I have something exciting to tell you, the listener of this podcast. Audible wants to give you a free audiobook just for checking out their service. You're going to get a free 30-day trial, and a free audiobook of your choice. If you just go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get any audiobook of your choice. But this week, my recommendation is Dust by Hugh Howey. It's narrated by Tim Gerard Reynolds. He's also who narrated Shift, and he's fantastic. Dust is 12 hours and 34 minutes long, a little bit shorter. Wool was about 18 hours long, and Shift was about the same, even a little longer. But this book was perfect. It's the perfect length, even though I would have wanted it to be longer. 
I think that Hugh Howie did an amazing job wrapping up such an awesome long story. There's really a lot going on in this book, and Tim Gerard Reynolds does a great job of narrating it. He has a cool British accent, which is always a great thing in a narrator. <laughs> But if you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can get a free 30-day trial of Audible, and you can download Dust or any audiobook of your choice for free, just for trying their service. So that's my recommendation, and let's get back to that review. Oh man, this book was so good. Since it's the third in a series, a long series, it's really hard to talk much about it without spoiling things, especially if you have not read Wool. And if you have not read Wool by Hugh Howey, start it today. He wrote the very first Wool story as just a short story to just get it out of his head. And his fans loved it so much that they like demanded that he write more stories. So he wrote four more and then put them all together in the wool omnibus. And then he wrote Shift the same way and Dust and... Oh, they're so good. I recommend a lot of books on this podcast, but some friends, uh, my co-workers, and I all would agree that these stories are some of the best that you'll read this century. Uh, there, I just can't say enough about them. Dust by Hugh Howie. Go check it out. Uh, it's an amazing conclusion to his series. I'm trying to think of things I loved about it that I can share with you, but I really don't want to spoil anything. So <laughs> I'll just reiterate that I think he did an amazing job finishing up the series. I loved wh where he went with the characters and the story. And from where you start in the first story of Wool to where you are at the end of Dust, so much has happened. The world has expanded so much. You get, finally get to find out so many awesome things that you've been wondering about like since the first story in Wool. Because one of the things about this series that I loved that I usually don't care much about is um, the story world. I love the book because it was written beautifully, it has amazing characters that I really cared about, but also, as soon as you start reading about people that live in an underground silo, and they can't go outside, or they'll die, you're like, what? That's really intriguing. How did they get in this silo? Why are they in this silo? How many people live in this silo? How big is it? Why can't they go outside? What's happened to, to, to the world? Who put them in this silo? Was it like some evil plan? Was it just for survival? And now they're the last human beings on Earth? What's going on? Is there life outside of their silo? So many questions. And then the more you read, you get further and more nuanced questions about the characters in the world. And whoa, when you finish Dust, you finally get to learn all these things and... Unlike the show Lost, which I really enjoyed, but was extremely disappointed in by the end because I still had so many unanswered questions, Dust did a great job of wrapping up the Silo series by Hugh Howey. Fantastic job, Hugh Howey. Go check it out. Hope you guys are having a great week and getting a lot of great reading in. I'm excited. I'm about to release one of my stories and other than a novelette which is an 11,000 word story it's pretty much a really long short story this will be the first story that I will publish that will be longer than a short story now it's still not a full length novel it's a novella think like the length of The Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway it's about 31,000 words, so it would probably take you a little over three hours to read it. But it's not a short story. I'm publishing a novella. I'm really excited about it. I'm, I'm really excited about it. It is called Sword and Urn. And uh, as soon as I'm finally done getting the ebook and paperback done, I'm going to record the audiobook. 
So that will be a case where I am going to... I'm not going to review my own book. <laughs> but I'm going to, at some point, be able to be on this podcast and say, This week, my recommendation for you to download at Audible is an audiobook written by me. Sword and Urn, narrated by the author. Anyways, if you guys want to learn more about my writing journey... Just go to dandantheartman.com. You can follow me on... Oh, never mind. I have someone to tell you all that stuff. But yeah, go to my website, check it out. Mostly I publish book reviews, but I also occasionally share things about my writing journey or audiobooks that I've narrated for other authors. But I really can't wait to publish this thing. I also recently published a paperback version of an ebook that you can get for free. It's kind of like an edgy Christian drama. I wouldn't say thriller, but it's an edgy true crime Christian drama redemptive story. <laughs> anyway, if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, you can get it on Amazon or any other ebook retailer for free. And you can now pick it up as a very slim paperback for $5.99 on Amazon. So I'm really excited to be making paperback books because it just feels so much more real when you're holding a book that you wrote than when you see the ebook. I don't know, there's something about it. So I'm really excited to also very soon have a paperback copy of my novella Sword and Urn coming out. This month. I think it will come out this month, April 2016. So I'm really excited about that. I hope that you guys have a great week. Happy reading, and I'll see you next time. Mike, take it away. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time.